everybody. I hope you're having a nice week and a nice day. We are here to show you my makes for June before I go on holiday. Um, and I've managed to get almost all of them done. Um, the only one that I didn't do is the dress that I was going to make out of the, um, the kind of the navy and the mustard um, and the green kind of geometric type fabric. Um, I didn't make that in time, I'm afraid. But I have got lots of lovely things to show you, including this, which is my grey dress. So let me give you a whirl. Okay, so here she is. And I'll turn it around. Now, I decided for this version to make it a little bit more fitted than she's normally meant to be. So normally, Grace is meant to be quite a loose-fitting um, top, not too tight, and then you basically use the belt to pull it in at the waist. But I wanted to have a version, I wanted to try fitting it um, a little bit closer to um, the bodice um, to me. And it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's a little bit tight just under the arm there, but it's, I think, it's not kind of... I think it's just a little bit snug there. It's not the armholes are too small or anything like that, but it's just made it a little bit tight here. So you get a little bit of skin, squidgy skin bit there. But anyway, it's fine. And um, I lined it, so I bagged the whole thing out in cotton lawn. So including, which I very rarely do, but including this skirt. And sorry, not in cotton lawn, in a rayon. So it's a lovely soft rayon. Um, this is actually... Um, the same rayon that I used to make the silk camis um, but yeah it feels so nice against your skin and it's very breathable so it's good for a hot summer's day not that we're having a hot summer's day so I don't need to worry about that but hopefully on holiday I will have a hot day so I'm going to take this away with me um, and I think I'll um, definitely enjoy wearing this in the Italian sun um, we're going to the south of Italy um, so yeah I think um, this will be a nice little day dress to take with me so this is my first make, um, definitely thumbs up, I think it's the perfect fabric for um, this grey dress, I really, really do. Sorry, our washing machine is really loud, um, so excuse that, plus I've got all the windows open airing the flat today, so excuse, sorry if you hear the traffic or sirens or something a little bit more today. But yeah, thumbs up for my first make, very happy, perfect summer dress. On to the next one. Okay, next up is this fabric. Now, I have gone completely off what I said I was going to do. So, if you remember, I was either going to make um, a maxi dress with the, term, the vintage shirt dress pattern out of this fabric, or the pleated dress that I made months ago, the vintage pattern. But I decided to do neither. So, my reasons were, one, I think this fabric didn't have enough drape for a maxi dress, so it just would have been a bit too full on. And I think the print was just maybe a little bit loud for me to make a maxi dress, so I decided against that. The second reason is because of the other pattern. So I actually tried on that dress again. So this is that mustard floral dress that I did a review of um, quite a few months ago. And um, it was uh, pleated here and pleated at the waist. And I thought that it was such a perfect fit and that's how I remembered it. But I put it back on and I realized it actually isn't. So my arm movement was sort of about there because of the grown on cap sleeve, you couldn't move your arm higher. It wasn't very comfortable under there. I had to wear a strapless bra with it because it was too wide. Um, so I want to bring it in. And I also think if I bring it in, then I'll want to scoop it out lower. And I think that the pleats on second, the pleats at the waist are actually, they're just too close together. So visually, with a print as distinctive as this, I was worried that it would just not work. So I thought the best pattern for a really big print like this is Betty, because she's not got too much fuss going on on the bodice, and the skirt hasn't got any pleats or anything, so it can just really show off the fabric. So that's what I did. So let me show you. Um, I'll stand back. I just love this dress. I literally just think it's one of my favourite dresses I've made in a long, long time. Um, I'll do a whirl. Um, so she's bagged out. Sorry, I'll show you the back. There's the back. She's bagged out. I've bagged out the whole of this with um, cotton lawn uh, but rather than doing a facing because if I did a facing out of this outside fabric and these white patches here, if any of this red um, floral print was going there you'd see it 
So I decided to just bag the whole thing out with a very fine cotton lawn um, and yeah, really pleased with the results. It's very comfy to wear. Um, and this linen fabric is beautiful. I just, yeah, it's a little bit creasy, but it's just so lovely. And the print is such a pretty red. It's like such a lovely pinky red. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna take this to Italy because I feel like it might be a bit fancy for um, the kind of holiday we're gonna have. But I think it'd be perfect for work um, because I can look fancy at work, but also for a wedding. So um, I don't actually have a wedding in mind because the only wedding I've got left this year is uh, my best one of my best friend's weddings and I'm a bridesmaid. So I won't be wearing a dress um, like this. So I can save it for next year um, or maybe there'll be a nice summer party or something that I'll have this year to wear it to. But yeah, I really, really love it. I think this fabric has gone. I think it went really quickly. I think a lot of you agreed with me that it was a great fabric. Um, and I did, I promise you that I bought as much as I could when I saw it at the wholesalers. I was like, that's amazing. We need to buy as much as you got. And they only had a couple of rolls. So I'm sorry there wasn't more of it. But yeah, I think out of all the makes this month, this is definitely my favorite. And if you are making a Betty dress at home and you've got that issue where the light fabric um, and then a very bold sort of print on it, then you can do the same and just use um, a plain cotton, um, a pale plain cotton to just bag it out. And if you don't know how to do that, I have done a video on how to do that. I'll put the link to it in the comments. Sorry about the siren. So um, yeah, you can check that out and see how I did that. Okay, maker number two is done, on to the next one. Now, um, I've got two next, so two left. I've got two skirts. So the skirt that you guys saw me making last week, which I'll put on next, and then there's another skirt, which if any of you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me wear that also last week. Um, yeah, I wasn't planning on making that, but I had a spare few hours one evening, so I decided to. So even though I've not made the four makes that I thought I was going to, I have still made four makes. So just hang on in there. Ta-da! Let me step back, guys. Can you see? Can you see? Here it is. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stand on the stool so you can see a bit closer the difference here where the, you can see the lining is shorter than the um, outer fabric. And um, if I pull up the lining, you can see there I just did a rolled hem. I did a rolled hem on both of the layers so it's really nice and, and kind of crisp um, and not heavy. And then here the pleats are, and I'm just wearing it with a little fever cardi. Um, it's actually not looking very clear on the screen, so sorry about that, guys. But yeah, this is just such a lovely summer skirt, um, and I will definitely be wearing this a lot. Um, and I'm definitely taking it on holiday. I think it'd be really nice for an evening, um, dinner out kind of thing. So, um, but also, excuse me, my cold. Uh, also, I will also think that I'd wear this a lot at work. This is very much a, a me kind of outfit for um, a summer's day at work. And the old fever cardigans are just designed for these skirts. They're just so perfect. And actually, somebody said on my feed, uh, my Instagram feed, about, oh, I've just looked on the um, fever site and they no longer do these. And I, I know they don't, and unfortunately. I think I knew that because I bought these last year. And then um, they basically just disappeared off their site. But then somebody from Fever answered and said, guys, we're gonna be releasing something similar if for autumn. So when they go back online or something similar, I'll make sure I tell you, because um, I know a lot of you do like these cardies and they are really, really, if you like wasted things, then they're just perfect to have in the wardrobe. So yes, so this is make number three. And yeah, I just feel it's very pretty, very romantic. And yeah, I think it was the great thing to do with this cutout fabric, really was um, perfect for it. So yay! Okay, last one, hang on. Okay guys, here is my last make for June. This is my Mexican Fiesta skirt. So you may remember, I'm standing up again so you can see it. You may remember that this fabric I wore, I bought, I had on one of my very early fabric hauls, but I didn't get round to making it. And it sat in my box, waiting for me to make something with it and I basically had a spare few hours the other evening and I thought I'm going to make the same skirt that I made the white fabric out of in this fabric and this is something we actually still have left I think 
most of our fabrics on our site go really quickly and this fabric hasn't so it's quite rare that that happens but we have actually reduced the price because maybe we thought it was a little bit expensive and that's why people weren't buying it or it was just difficult for people to visualize what it would look like but anyway i hope that this skirt will show you how fabric can look and i'm just going to go back a little bit more so yeah, there she is, I've just done a nice wide waistband, pleated skirt, concealed zip in the back, and nice and long below the knee. Um, so perfect skirt for work for me, um, and I might take it on holiday, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I love it. I just think it's so, such gorgeous colours and such an unusual print. It is quite loud though, so I do understand that some of you may find that it's just a little bit loud to wear as a dress, or trousers but I think it's a skirt you can pull it off so um, yeah I hope some of you will now maybe be inspired to, to see what maybe get some and have a go at yourselves there isn't actually loads left so um, yeah first come first served anyway that is it for this week um, so I am actually now editing these vlogs myself which has been interesting last week's I did actually edit with Sinead the wonderful Sinead but she's going traveling um, around Europe for six months and so I basically didn't have someone to edit them so I've had to learn how to do it so after I film this I will be going to my computer and trying to edit it um, but yeah I hope you find it's okay and um yeah and then i'll be getting packing so it's saturday today and tomorrow um we fly actually on monday so today's been a last minute kind of working day that often happens to me when i go away on holiday i have to work the um literally up to the last moment um but it's okay because i'm going away and um, my sister's coming tonight though because tomorrow as her birthday present I've got us tickets to go see Beyonce which I am so excited about. I saw Beyonce in concerts about five or six years ago or maybe not that long ago but anyway she was incredible. She's just amazing live and her shows are just brilliant. She really knows how to put on a good show. So we basically changed the dates of our holiday when I got the tickets so um, we're basically going to see her in Wembley tomorrow night and then um, we'll be flying off um, on Monday, so the perfect start to a holiday, very exciting. Anyway guys, I hope you all have lovely weeks, and as always I will put everything that I've mentioned in the comments below. If I don't put the links to the fabric, it's because they've already sold out, so I'm sorry about that. But um, when you guys buy fabric really quickly, it's a good sign for me to know that's what you like, and so if I ever see anything like that, again, I always make sure I buy it. So. Um, sorry if you've missed out on fabric this time and if you haven't yet subscribed to us do subscribe it's been lovely to see the subscribers going up and up and continuing to do so but if you haven't please do and then we'll make sure that I send you lots more lovely content um, and lots more makes and sewing and tips and tricks um, please also do tell me if you want me in the comments below any kind of um, how-to videos because I still haven't decided on all of them that I'm going to do some of you have put some comments already from last week's and I've had a few mentions on Instagram but if there's anything that you want me to show you how to do let me know I'm gonna have a filming day at the end of July to do all of those um, so yeah okay that is it I will see you next week bye <laughs>